Hi everyone. So now we are going to talk some uh, talk about some problems from Gauss's law. And one thing you have to note that look at this. Here one tube is here. All right. So again, so here we are considering suppose when when there is a charge at the center, one of the phase. Okay, at one of the phases and uh, one of the sides. One of the sides. Okay, I mean side means phase. Okay, here I am using phase. So then, at at one of the corners, at one of the corners, how much will be the electric field through each phase? That is this is a, a common question. So you can see that at the center, then at each there are six phases, right? So each phase will be q by six epsilon zero. Okay, six epsilon zero. Then what about at one phase? One phase means here. This is a one phase. Okay. So here I am placing one charge here. Then half of the charge will be. Here half of the charge will be here. So then it will be q by 10 epsilon zero through each phase, through each phase. So at at one of the corners, suppose we are placing at one of the corners, then it will be through one through each cube, it will be q by 8 epsilon zero. Because to complete to to make it complete a Gaussian surface, you need eight cubes. You need additional seven cubes, total eight, and then. What about each phase? It will be q by 24 epsilon zero. So you can check that. You can check that eight cubes are connecting like this. One cube six, but total uh, eight eight phases will cover themselves. So total 24 phases will be there out. So it will be through each phase q by 24 epsilon zero. Okay. So the second question, question number two. Okay. Question number two. It's a it's a, a theory kind of question. It's an easy question, so you can check that. Okay. A dipole is placed in a shell as shown. Find the electric flux emerging out of the shell in a hypothetical sphere of radius r as shown in figure. So how much will be the value? It will be zero zero. Okay. So it is y because we know that. Uh, what is the net charge inside that shell? That is equal to zero because minus q plus q both the charges net charge is equal to zero. So that is the thing. And then thirteen question. Number, I mean question number three. Two concentric shells as shown enclose charge q and minus q. Okay, the electric flux from the shell radius r is zero. Zero. What is the net charge? Zero. Okay. So the fourth question: A charge Q is placed in a medium of directly constant K. So the maximum number of lines of force are. What is the maximum number of lines of force? That is flex Q by epsilon zero and Q by epsilon zero A would be there, but here K we are using. Why K? Sorry, why? Because epsilon instead of epsilon we are using epsilon R epsilon zero. What is epsilon R here? K. K into epsilon zero. Okay, answer is Q by K epsilon zero. Next one, fifth question, question number five. All right. Okay, question number five. A charge Q is distributed uniformly in a sphere, solid sphere. Okay. Then the electric field at any point R, where R is less than R. Is radius of the sphere varies as. So what is the equation? It is Q. It is proportional to Q R by R Q. Q R upon R Q. So it is proportional to R. It's a very simple question. Okay. So the final, the last and final question. You have to solve this question because I I have just taught you this. Two infinitely long parallel contacting plates having surface charge densities plus sigma and minus sigma. All right. So respectively are separated by a small distance. So the figure is given. So the medium between the plates is vacuum. Then epsilon zero is the dielectric permeability, and then the electric field region between. So what will be the electric field in between? So you know that. So there are two plates over here, plus and minus. And then here, what what is the direction over here? It will be put a small. What I have told you is take a small. Positive charge over here, so the direction will be in this direction. So E1 will be in this direction, E2 will be in this direction. All right. So you can consider this might be uh, E1 and this is this is equal to sorry, this is E2 and this is 
E1. So the value will be F, uh, sigma by 2 epsilon 0 plus sigma by 2 epsilon 0 that will be equal to sigma by epsilon 0. Okay. So thank you.